Have you ever wondered how Stoicism could better our lives? Stoicism, a school of philosophy founded in Athens by Zeno of Citium, offers a unique perspective on life. This ancient wisdom, though birthed in the 3rd century BC, remains relevant even in today's fast-paced, technology-driven world. Stoicism teaches us to embrace tranquility by controlling our reactions to external events rather than the events themselves. It's not about eliminating emotions entirely, but rather about understanding and managing them effectively. This understanding can profoundly influence our decision-making process, allowing us to approach life's ups and downs with a balanced perspective. Stoicism also encourages us to appreciate life in its entirety, the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly. It urges us to focus on the present moment, let go of what we cannot control, and strive for virtue in our everyday actions. Now let's dive into the 10 life-altering Stoic questions that could potentially reshape our lives. What is in our control and what is not? This question, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, is a profound inquiry into the nature of our existence. It's a compass guiding us towards understanding our boundaries, our capabilities and our place in the world. In the grand theatre of life, we often get entangled in the illusion of control. We fret over the uncontrollable, the uncertain, the unpredictable. But Stoicism offers us a different perspective. It encourages us to recognize that certain things are beyond our grasp while others are within our reach. The weather, the traffic, the opinions of others, these are elements we cannot control. But our reactions, our attitudes, our decisions, these are ours to command. By focusing on what is within our control, we can navigate life's turbulence with grace and resilience. This question teaches us to focus on what we can control, not on what we can't. What does this experience contribute to my life? This question is vital in our journey of self-discovery. You see, every encounter, every moment, every experience we go through in life has something to teach us. It's like a hidden treasure waiting to be unearthed. Imagine life as a great tapestry. Each thread represents an experience. Some threads are vibrant, symbolizing joyful times. Others may be darker, representing hardships, but together they weave a beautiful complex design that is uniquely ours. It's important to understand that not all experiences will be filled with sunshine and rainbows. Some may be painful, confusing, even heart-wrenching. But it's these experiences that often provide the most valuable lessons, contributing to our growth and resilience. So the next time you find yourself in a difficult situation, remember to ask, what does this experience contribute to my life? Embrace the lesson it offers, because every experience, good or bad, contributes to our life journey. Am I acting out of fear or love? This question, though simple in structure, is profound in its implications. We are often driven by these two powerful emotions, fear and love, in many of our actions. It's an inherent part of our human nature. Consider this. When we make decisions, are we choosing out of fear of the unknown, fear of failure or fear of judgment? Or are we motivated by love, by passion, by a deep-seated desire to contribute to the world around us? Recognizing the driving force behind our actions is vital. It's a mirror that reflects our true motivations, our deepest desires and our most hidden fears. It's a tool that helps us understand ourselves better and navigate the labyrinth of our minds. So the next time you're about to make a decision, ask yourself this stoic question. Recognizing whether we act out of fear or love can drastically shift our perception of life. Do my actions align with my values? This question, my friends, is the cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and the essence of personal growth. It's not just about what we believe in, but how those beliefs shape our actions. It's a continuous journey of self-awareness and self-improvement. Let's think about it. Our core values serve as our compass, guiding us through life's unpredictable waves. They are the foundation upon which we make decisions, react to situations and interact with others. When our actions reflect these values, we embody authenticity. We become more than just the sum of our actions, we become the embodiment of our values. Imagine a life where your actions are in harmony with your beliefs. A life where every decision, every response, every interaction is a true reflection of who you are. This isn't a distant dream, but a reachable reality through the practice of Stoic philosophy. 
When our actions reflect our values, we live a life of authenticity. What would I advise my younger self? This question, the fifth in our series, invites us to gaze into the mirror of time and reflect upon our own personal histories. It's an exercise in self-discovery and personal growth, a chance to revisit the crossroads of our lives and ponder on the paths we chose. Imagine meeting your younger self, armed with the wisdom you possess today. What counsel would you offer? Perhaps you'd share lessons learned from stumbles and falls, or maybe you'd advise on the importance of resilience and perseverance. This reflection isn't about regret or changing the past, but about understanding it. Our past is a treasure trove of experiences, a catalogue of trials and triumphs, mistakes and milestones. By looking back, we can identify patterns, recognize missteps and celebrate achievements. We can harness the power of hindsight to shape our future. So what would you tell your younger self? Remember, our past when reflected upon can be our greatest teacher. What are my virtues and how can I use them? This question encourages us to delve deep into our character, to identify our unique strengths and qualities, our virtues, in the vast tapestry of humanity, each one of us has a unique set of virtues, shaped by our experiences, values and beliefs. Recognizing these virtues is the first step towards self-discovery. It's about acknowledging the good within us, the elements of our personality that make us who we are. But recognition alone is not enough. It's the use of these virtues that truly brings about change. How can we use our virtues? Well, it's about applying them in our daily lives in our interactions with others, in the decisions we make. It's about using them to contribute positively to our lives and those around us. Our virtues are our inherent power, our arsenal of goodness. They can help us navigate the complexities of life, steer us towards fulfillment and contentment. Our virtues, when recognized and used, can be our greatest strength. What is the worst case scenario and how would I cope? An intriguing question, isn't it? This is the seventh Stoic question, a powerful tool for navigating life storms. Stoicism encourages us to contemplate the worst case scenario, not to fill our minds with fear, but to equip ourselves with resilience and courage. When we face the worst case scenario head on, we're forced to confront our deepest fears. We ask ourselves, what would I do? How would I cope? In doing so, we're preparing ourselves, creating mental blueprints for survival and reducing anxiety. Imagine being a sailor navigating uncharted waters. Wouldn't you want to prepare for the worst possible storm? This is what the Stoics advocate. They want us to be ready, to have a plan, to be unfazed by life's uncertainties. In essence, this question is a call to bravery, a call to be prepared. Contemplating the worst-case scenario prepares us for life's uncertainties. Can I make a difference? That's the eighth Stoic question we're pondering today. It's a query that cuts straight to the heart of our human experience, our will to engage to create change. At times, the world might appear vast, overwhelming even, with challenges that seem insurmountable. But remember, change is a continuous process, not a single event. It's a ripple effect, a series of small acts that collectively make a significant impact. Stoicism teaches us that we all possess the power to make a difference, irrespective of our circumstances. It's about understanding and harnessing our individual potential. It could be as simple as a kind word, a thoughtful act, or a bold idea. The scale of your impact isn't measured by its size, but by its intent. So the next time you question your ability to affect change, remember this stoic wisdom. Every individual has the potential to make a difference. Am I living in the present? This is the ninth stoic question and one that truly resonates for it is a call to embrace the now. The present moment, this very second, is all we genuinely possess. The past is a memory, the future a dream, yet the present, the now, is vividly alive. Living in the present moment is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. It encourages us to be fully engaged, to experience life as it happens, not as a series of retrospective reflections or future anticipations. It's about savouring the taste of your morning coffee, appreciating the warmth of the sun on your skin or the sound of laughter ringing in your ears. This is not to say that we should disregard our past or ignore our future. 
Rather, it's about understanding that happiness and fulfillment are found in the richness of the present moment. For, as the Stoics believe, the present is where life happens. It's where we live, breathe and exist. Living in the present moment is the key to a fulfilled life. What legacy do I want to leave behind? This is the tenth and final Stoic question we're exploring today. It's a profound and poignant one, isn't it? The legacy we aspire to leave behind is a reflection of our innermost values and convictions. It's about the footprints we want to leave on the sands of time, the impact we desire to have on the world and the people around us. In Stoicism, contemplating our legacy is seen as a powerful tool to guide and shape our actions, decisions and ultimately our lives. It serves as our compass, directing us towards what truly matters. It helps us prioritize our time, energy and resources more efficiently and live with a greater sense of purpose and fulfillment. So let's ponder upon this. What kind of legacy do you wish to leave behind? Remember, it's not about grandeur or fame, but about meaningfulness and impact. Our desired legacy should guide our life's journey.